What's cracking, y'all? Welcome back to Blue TV. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified whenever we upload a new video. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to do another video about the Los Angeles Clippers because they were my pick to win the NBA championship. But this is about the claw. The claw. Kawhi Leonard. At least, I, I, look, I'm not going to jump the gun and be like, Kawhi is back. Kawhi is back. Kawhi is back. Kawhi was back for at least this game versus the Boston Celtics. We'll see how he continues on a game-to-game -game basis, how his body responds after this, uh, after this game. So I'm not jumping the gun, but it was good to see Kawhi, how we're used to seeing Kawhi when healthy for at least one game versus the team with the best record in the league, the Boston Celtics. Uh, Kawhi Leonard in 29 minutes of play was plus 23 in the uh, plus minus had 25 points on 10 for 12 shooting two for three from three-point land Kawhi also had nine rebounds six assists and one steal for good measure and just watching the game Kawhi this was the most comfortable I've seen Leonard look and uh you know what? Let's watch the highlights and then we'll continue to talk about it afterwards. Let's check it out. And he got that pass off just in time to Paul George putting his magic. Paul George so saucy with the handles. PG thirteen is so underrated. But I, this is this is this is Kawhi that I'm used to seeing. Operating in the post, also operating in the low post. Fadeaway jumper like Kobe, like Jordan. Uh, very strong, takes his time, gets to his spots. Dude, that that was a hell of a pump fake. He was coming from behind him, and then the backwards bounce pass to Reggie Jackson for three. Hell of a play there on the pump fake and the pass. Goes right into his shooting motion. Looks solid. I still think his jumper looks a little bit flatter than usual. Not much, just a little bit, but... Maybe it's just me. Dude, I love Marcus Morris. I love his game. Gets the matchup he wanted with Blake Griffin. And goes right into his shot. Operating where he likes to operate best right there in that mid-range. But Kawhi is an exceptional three-point shooter as well. Don't, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Out there to Nicholas. Going in for the easy left-hand layup. Don't know if we'll ever see him explode and dunk like we used to see him do after the ACL injury, but he can still finish. He doesn't have to power dunk it. That looked good. That looked good. The claw with the rebound. Mm, don't get saucy on him. Don't get saucy on him. Behind the back dribble. Kept it behind his back. Sent it back the other way from which it came. Drive to the right, operating in that mid-range, man. Getting right to his spot. The defense don't matter. You got a player that's as deadly as Kawhi is. He's extremely surgical. Extremely surgical in the mid-range. The defense really don't matter. Big zoo. Big zoo. Big zoo. Big zoo. Good fadeaway. Passing out of the double teams. They're, they're double teaming Kawhi Leonard. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't Kawhi. That was PG. My bad. Eyes is blurry. That was PG. They were double teaming. But still got the ball over to Kawhi for the jumper. Oh, they better start. They better start double teaming. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure Boston wasn't expecting to get this version of Kawhi Leonard. They probably thought they was getting that, you know, the nine, ten points he's been throwing up when he, the few games he's played. Kawhi said, nah. At least for this game, I'm going to show you what I really be about, baby. I'm, I'm I'm giving you a cool 25 on an efficient field goal percentage, baby. I'm going to throw in some rebounds, some assists too, baby. I'm going to show you, make you guys remember what I was doing. Kawhi said, I'm going to make y'all remember what I was doing before I got that injury against Utah. 
We was primed to make it to the finals. We would have beat Phoenix had I played. We would have beat Phoenix. Now I'm back. At least back for this game. Like I said, I'm not jumping the gun. We know he's going to load manage. We know he's going to miss games. I'm sure he's still going to have some games where he's still looking rusty until he gets completely back to where he's going to be optimally. Don't know what that is. I don't know if prime Kawhi Leonard or something close to it is going to be the norm at some point when he gets there or he's going to be kind of up and down or a little bit lesser version of what we're used to seeing before his ACL injury. But either way, happy to see him have a good game and look more like himself. Um, I think this is the, I think the Clippers are the deepest team in the league when healthy. And uh, Kawhi looked like Kawhi. It, for me, I'm happy to see it because he's one of my favorite players. I absolutely love his game. Y'all know me. I love... Players that like to get down and dirty, physical, pound in the post, put their back to the basket, body contact, all that kind of stuff. But he's also just a great shooter at the same time. And not the defender that he once was, but, man, when, when he could defend at a high level consistently, they call him the claw for a reason. The claw. But, uh... Yeah, man, happy happy to see him back, and uh, hopefully, knock on wood here, fingers crossed, knock on wood, this guy can stay healthy. Oh, he can stay healthy, please, please, may the, may the city of angels, the angels in the city be with him, may the angels in that city be with him, because he needs it for his body, all right. Yeah, great to see. Great game by Kawhi. Great game by the Clippers. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Stay notified. Appreciate you guys for stopping in. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And I'll uh, catch you on the next one. We out, baby.